The first thing that I need to point out is you can actually see in N2 versus O2 that we flip-flopped the energy of the sigma and the pi 2p orbitals. So this is a glitch, just like sometimes we had glitches in filling up our atomic orbitals. This is something that you need to remember. And what you need to remember is if the z is equal to 8 or greater, such as oxygen being the cutoff point, this sigma 2p orbital is actually lower in energy than the pi 2p orbitals, the molecular orbitals. But for anything 7 or less, so what is the atomic number for nitrogen? Five, there's five valence electrons, but the atomic number is actually seven. Uh, so z equals seven. This is the cutoff where, in fact, the sigma orbital is going to be higher in energy than the pi 2p orbitals. This is something that you just need to remember. I wrote it down in your notes. If you can put a big star next to it so you don't forget this, this is something you're going to be responsible for in drawing out your molecular orbitals. So let's fill it out in this way, keeping in mind that we're going to fill up the, the pi 2p's before the sigma. So we have a total of uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 valence electrons. So I'll make sure I count to 10 as we fill up our molecular orbitals here. We have 2, then we have 4. Now we're going to start in with the pi 2p orbitals, which gives us uh, 1 each, and then 2 each in those, and then after that, will go up to our sigma 2pz orbital. So this is going to be um, our molecular orbital diagram. And again, I've written for you, but you can figure out what the electron configuration is just by writing up in this order here. And what is the bond order going to be for N2? Mm -hmm, it's going to be 3. So you can go ahead and calculate that if you can't see that uh, right away.